Colleagues, we are here to forge solidarity with Afghan women and girls. Solidarity means empathy and providing concrete support. We all know the worrying situation of women and girls in Afghanistan. And I don't need to repeat, to repeat it because it has been well recorded in many reports. The question is, what are we going to do about it? Are we going to let politics refrain us from giving a hand and sit quietly while millions of Afghan women and girls are suffering? Or are we going to do anything we can to help them regardless of politics? I believe the second choice is the wise one. Basically, three things that Indonesia tries to contribute. Number one is on the humanitarian system, second is on the role of ulamas, and the third is on women and girls, especially on education. On humanitarian assistance, on top of other um, uh, assistance, Indonesia will deliver 10 million doses of polio vaccine in, to Afghanistan, and we do it in cooperation with UNICEF. And then on ulamas, Indonesia share best practices with Afghan ulama in giving inclusive education to women. Because you know that Indonesia is the largest Muslim population, so we are very glad to be able to share with ulama in Afghanistan how in Indonesia, girls, women, has the equal right to education. And the latest one is my ulamas joining the OIC ulamas visiting Afghanistan. And then on women. Uh, Indonesia provides scholarship and training for Afghan uh, women. And last year, Indonesia and Qatar organized the first international conference on Afghan women education uh, last December. And we raised a significant number of financial uh, support for the uh, Afghan uh, women. And this November, we will hold the second conference. And you are all welcome to join this endeavor. So, we do all this because we want to see a peaceful and prosperous Afghanistan and politics must not stand in the way because above politics is humanity. I thank you very much.